Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 10th episode of Saiki and Yototota Neidoga Ayashi. And last episode we got like uh, Natsume, our new, well, a new maid. I mean, she, she's around. I mean, her maid skills, not quite up to, to the level of Lilith, Lilith I, w I would say. But uh, yeah, she, she seems, you know, fine for the most part. Even though she did kind of come in the show as a bit of an antagonist role, you, you can't really hate her. But yeah, so let's just jump into episode 10 and see how things go. Three, two, one. Sorry, now put some humming. Nuts miss still around or not? Did she go to the bathroom? What did she like leave leave? To get a present, I guess. At least we found her. Well, we found her, I mean. As the audience, Lilith is still not sure exactly where she is. I wonder how long it takes to draw her eyes, they're just, they're like gems, really, in the shots that really detail them. You know, considering how much bigger she is than him, I'm surprised she can just pull around like that. Yeah, now that I actually, you know, now that I actually know who Natsume is, that shot of the three of them has more meaning now. Since I have a personal way to attach to the character design. For whom do the stars fall? <laughs> uh, is your maid pregnant yet? That's really what she's asking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we really should include her a little bit. We did do that. And then, you know, Arrival showed up for her affections and things got complicated. But she might, you know, eat that up, you know, low triangle sort of thing. <laughs> you might be surprised. <laughs> I know how she's gonna take that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she kind of has the wrong idea. I mean, her opinion of you is definitely on an upward trend. I wouldn't worry about that. It is a common point, so... Best thing to establish a friendship with is a common interest, you know, common like. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she would get. I knew she would be all over that. I just knew it. Oh, my window just crashed. Not a big deal, but she spotted her. That is a one of the best characters in the show. Okay, now this is getting complicated. I should check and make sure the recording didn't mess up, though. I'm sure it's fine. But... <laughs> Indeed. This is a It's great. I love her so much. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, they know each other. I, I kind of knew that, but... Barely acknowledge your existence. <laughs> Imagine really trying to sound polite there. Kind of sounds like she was training herself to do it, too. This is that unnatural for her. A girlfriend. But, you know. Not so much pretty cute sometimes, too. We're bringing it up. <laughs> Asking your love rival for advice. Okay, it's these kind of characters. Gotcha. I'm sure they know that and don't care. Do you have proof of the opposite? Yeah, tell them. Of course he's a violence, because that's the one thing he has over him, this small child. But yeah, we got Natsume here, so... Yeah, punching a small child because he supposedly bumped into you. That's it's a bit of an overreaction, to say the least. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of kind of who Yuri is. I mean, he doesn't... He says what's on his mind is what I was trying to say. Yeah, she was pretty cool there. <laughs> like what? Get it like a Christmas present? I still hear Gabriel when she speaks, though. Yeah, the Christmas present for Lilith. I, I assume. Also protect, protected him from a couple delinquents. No big deal. That's <laughs> the pouty face. Oh, oh my heart. I'm sure they're both fine. <laughs> oh, wow, that outfit. Oh, my God, the up-top. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I mean, can we just agree that everything about her is amazing? Yeah. I guess it's also a kind of conversation you can have with your rival in love. As she says on the bed. Okay, gotcha. We got a party going on. <clears throat> I mean, she did see some book or something, right, that, about Christmas, so... I'm not sure if it'll end up being a surprise in the end. I touch you. We're gonna fist bump, too. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, knowing her, I knew she was thinking something like that. Some kind of ulterior motive. <laughs> that voice, she is not subtle at all. You can feel the shakiness there. That could be fine, but... 
Obviously, it's a liar. Maybe have a sleepover too. Yeah. Uh, kind of feel bad. I mean, it's, it's for the, you know, surprise and all that, but still. Well, sure, but now it's a hand make it. I mean, that, that kind of thing takes, it takes quite a while. <laughs> that does seem cool, I, I guess. That's, yeah. That does sound good, too. Okay. Getting kind of spicy now. <laughs> uh, and then the babies. It's what I expect of you, don't worry about it. Grab out my water. I'm a big boy, I can handle it. Definitely different clothes here. Well, that's step one. Trick or treat. <laughs> what this? Is that supposed to be a subtle disguise? Yeah, nothing more subtle than a, a little girl in a trench coat and glasses and a hat. Okay. Leave it to you. <laughs> I, cause you're good at it, I guess. Cause we're not gonna let you near the food. <laughs> okay. Even though it's not his butler. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty clear. <laughs> Even got a blush. Why you 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 have Lilith? I mean. I knew it. I knew it. I don't think that chip's gonna happen, but... <laughs> I mean, can't really say no to her, can we? <laughs> Yeah, that's how Yui helped make a cake in Kaon. <laughs> he wasn't trying to put in the strawberries on it. So then you theoretically can't screw up. Anyway, back to the second half. Second half. Yeah. Talk about Yuri, I'm sure she could talk about that all day. As could I in a <clears throat> different sense of the word. <laughs> she really is just using the internet for this. You say she just looks cute today, you know? See where that, that competition leads? 
She really doesn't want this. She really does want this to be like a date, doesn't she? Getting crepes. <sighs> she is kind of bleeding. <laughs> I mean, if you, yeah, if you were trying to impress somebody on a date, that wouldn't be a great thing to do. Well, uh, yeah, right in front of her. Yeah, but what you don't know is that was about you. Can't really tell that missed scene though, but. But I, but I see that that's how she took it, so that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Let the day continue. Oh, wow. Yeah, that actually looks really cute. I think if it suits you, fine. No, don't worry about it. It's so weird seeing Lilith without the cleavage, it just it feels wrong. I want to just get a knife and stab the clothing. Do the world a favor, you know. Okay, we're doing it. So what's in it? A pen? A hair decoration thingy? It is a pen, okay? I thought so with the shape. It is a nice pen. <laughs> okay, yeah, now can definitely be cute when she wants to be. She better write me letters with the, the pen I gave you as a present. But yeah, I can, I can definitely ship this, but... Of course, you know, Natsuki is not the main character, so it's not going to happen. Oh wow, they really went all out. They do this that quickly. I know we had Fujisaki in charge. Uh, did she already dive in? Take that out of context. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, that turned around. Uh, I. Was a surprise for her. I mean, okay, they just they they five brained me. So yeah, he leaked it. Okay, that's where I was born. So yeah, they'll totally knew everything during their date. That was really funny how we turned that around. Uh, this is actually quite a nice development. <laughs> so... Gonna give her a party hat. Okay, let's party. You know what I have with Satania dressed up as, as a reindeer? <laughs> uh, okay.
but it's like a fun party. She, she fell asleep. That would be that would be quite nice, yeah. It doesn't know what she dreams about. Oh, wow. and she is a uh, laying down. I like the one shot of her in the opening. Yeah, I was convinced. It really does. It's a great choice. I need to eat lunch after this. I'm starving. Merry Christmas. I am, yeah, I'm sure she will. And we really have welcomed not to into our home, haven't we? Yeah, Merry Christmas. That's okay, it zoomed in. Yeah, thank you, Merry Christmas, Yuri. Oh god, so wholesome. Okay, we're hitting it. we're getting it off of there. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I need to stretch a little bit. It must have always been. I'm not quite sure how to take that title, but anyway, that was the yeah, that was the tenth episode of Psyche Nyatota Meidoga Ayashi. And definitely a solid episode. Like we knew pretty early on that it was gonna be a Christmas episode because we had the book, which I wanna Go back to that. Yeah, Christmas gift selection. Shows all sorts of things. Teddy bear, watch the mittens. Yeah. <clears throat> that was what we saw first. So we pretty much kind of knew the time frame and we would, should expect some Christmas stuff. And we definitely got some Christmas stuff. That's for sure. Because he had this whole thing with uh, the Christmas party and wanted to have it be a surprise for Lilith. But then we got to turn around and give a Christmas party for, you know, a surprise for, for Natsume, right? So that was a fun little. A little surprise there that I didn't see coming. It was funny. I would think it back and not that then Lilith just like bolts into the house so she could be there for, you know, to be part of the surprise crew when she when uh when Natsume walks in. That was quite a fun little thing there. But we also had some like one on one time between Natsume and Lilith, which was great, right? And just in general just had a, a little Natsume had a great time in this episode really for the most part. Really ha having that bit there and having been definitely feeling appreciated and stuff during the 
the Christmas party and everything with the gifts and stuff. Which is nice because otherwise not to me I do feel a little bit bad for. Because she is kind of a kind of a fifth wheel in this show. Because we have essentially like four main characters. Yuri, Lilith, Tsukasa, Tsubasa, whatever her name was, uh, Fujisaki, and you know, and Natsume, right? But the other we have two pairs and then just Natsume, right? So she just and yet she's you know, has history with one person in both those pairs, right? But to both those pairs, she's not there. Either there's them's number one. I'm having trouble getting that sentence out, but hopefully you get what I'm kind of what I kind of mean. She is essentially a fifth wheel kind of character in the show. But you know, she has some time to shine. Getting to be all cool, saving Yuri. She got to be, you know, have, got to have the Christmas party. Got to have some one-on-one time with Elilith. So I'd say overall, <laughs> I'd say overall, not some had a great time in the episode, all things considered. But yeah, just Tsukasa, I hope that's her name. I don't know why I'm kind of blinking on her name. Uh, yeah, Tsukasa. That's what I thought it was. But anyway, yeah, Tsukasa, like, she's so impressive. When I went, when I went into this show, I thought for sure that Lilith was going to be my number one favorite character. Without question, no one even approaching her. But then I actually watched the show, and then we got Tsukasa. And, like, I, they, they are, like, neck and neck, which one I like most. Like, they both have so much going for them. But... It's I, but uh, yeah, they're they're about the same as far as you know favorite character status, best girl status, like Tsukasa puts in the work, man. <laughs> she just had the stupid stereotypical, you know, stocking kind of outfit, you know, the stealthy outfit that's not really stealthy, right? Just she's just so good. But and even Natsume is pretty great in her, you know, in her own way, right? So just a really good cast of characters we got in this show. But anyway, yeah, really, really good episode. I enjoyed it. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.